So I'm going to tell you about some of the stories that I reported on while I was in Iraq embedded with the Army. Uh, the Baghdad Zoo by Brian Turner. Is the world safe? No, it's not safe for an Iraq. Hans Blix. An Iraqi northern brown bear mauled a man on a street corner. Dragging him down an alley as shocked onlookers shouted and threw stones. Tanks rolled their heavy tracks past the museum and up to the Ministry of Oil. A gunner watched a lion chase down a horse. Eaten down to their skeletons, the giraffes looked prehistoric, unreal. Their necks too fragile, too graceful for the 21st century. Dalmatian pelicans and marble teals flew over, frightened by the rotor wash of Black Hawk helicopters touching down. One baboon even escaped the city limits. It was found wandering the desert, confused by the wind and the sand of the Barshan dunes. So with that, I chose to do the reporter, and which is why I didn't look around specifically, is because as an on-field reporter, I'm staring into a camera, which is being fed to a live stream to a news audience somewhere else in the world, which is why I didn't look around at any of you. And why I chose the news reporter mostly was because of how the poem itself is set up. It's very organized, it's very succinct. There's five stanzas, three lines, each line is roughly 10 to 15, uh, syllables per line so it's very organized very succinct like a news report has to be especially in the field they have very limited time to get what they're going to say out for you to get the story and also each stanza itself is a story in its own very much that follows the narrative and the timeline of the Iraq war itself with the first one being the Iraqi northern brown bear would be the Kurdish forces allied with our special forces that went through the war uh, and the end of the poem, you can see the uh, local populace throwing stones and having a protest. It's because the Iraqi population doesn't like the Kurds because Iraq itself is divided into three ethnic groups that really don't like each other. Uh, the second bit, uh, the second stanza, sorry, was uh, the main push of the Marines and the army coming up from the south and taking over the remaining infrastructure after we bombed the, uh, the country. Uh, the third would be all the dead bodies from all our precision airstrikes, whether it was civilian or soldier. There were quite a bit, uh, quite a big death toll at the beginning of the war. Uh, the fourth stanza would be uh, all the civilians that would flee when Black Hawk insertion teams during the insurgency, once the insurgency started, when we would send in special forces to go grab an HVT, how the civilian population would always spread out and run away because they knew something was happening. And the last bit can be interpreted, I found, in two ways. The first would be the bath party themselves because the baboon is a goofy animal and we, it's kind of just lost and confused just like the bath party was after we removed Saddam's regime. And the second could just be the civilian population who've lost their homes from either damage or other things uh, that the war started and they're confused because they have nowhere to live now and life is rather hard for them. And that would be my recitation and conclusion.